And welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the doctor of common sense. The Rhino Republicans are going to sell you out again when it comes to the debt ceiling. Ask yourself this question. Why do we keep having a debate almost every damn year, every two years, about raising the debt ceiling? Nobody does their personal finances like the government does our freaking money. You got to have some limits. They keep saying, it's responsible, we have to pay our bills. Quit making these ridiculous bills. I can go find a million different things that you guys are wasting freaking money on. Starting with the freaking illegals. Why are we spending any money on illegal immigrants? Why are we sending money over to Ukraine? You're not winning a war over there. Stop playing. And then we had the cat man, Mr. Nuthugger himself, one Lindsey Graham, say he's for, he said it would be irresponsible not to raise the debt ceiling. Now we have reports, some Republicans say they won't support it because it's going to raise the debt ceiling to $35 trillion. I think it's a $4 trillion increase. So almost $36 trillion. Now remember, I believe the last time I saw it, the report says that we borrow $50,000 every second. Borrow this money in order to take care of other citizens from another country and to make sure we send money to all of these different countries, we send money so the CIA and our government can get involved in everybody else's country. And I'm supposed to have confidence in this, but I don't. I remember, I think the first time we actually got a, a credit down rating is when Barack Obama was the president, 2011, right? Oh, I know, it's because he's black, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I believe you. Why is it that Kevin McCarthy and these phony Republicans cannot quit calling themselves conservatives. Are these the same fellows who support Ron DeSantos and just asking for a friend? Because there's nothing conservative about these people. All they do is spend money and turn around saying it's our responsibility. How about stop spending and wasting money? If you're broke and you don't have enough money to pay your bills, why go borrow money and then the money you borrow, you give it away? That doesn't make logical sense. It's a, it's a bad business move. Now, the report says that this new spending bill will be what they call a uh, great will. We had to compromise. They always say this. Compromising with the devil gets you the same thing. Technically, I think it was Joe Biden who says that nobody making under $400,000 will ever be taxes. Inflation is a freaking tax. If you're going to have high inflation, I got to pay higher prices, that's taxing me. Uh, am I missing something here? I mean, I know I'm a little slow, but please help me. If you raise inflation and you're paying double what you was paying three, four years ago, it seems like a tax to me, whether you call it a tax or not. I mean, you can call horse manure jello pudding, but it doesn't change the facts. If you have high inflations, I think somebody says it's one of those, the most regressive and oppressive tax levied on Americans. Well, that's what it is. Inflation is a tax because if I got to pay higher prices, David, I don't care how you dress it up. I'm using more money. How silly is this even sounds? And so maybe Kevin McCarthy needs to go get his boyfriend, the, the GOP poster, Frank Lutz, the one he was shacking up with. Told you, you think I forgot, Kim? I was trying to give you a break because I thought you was going to do the right thing. I knew you were going to do the right thing, but I played along with you. And here we have that you're compromising with Joe Biden. Let it crash. Don't care if we're downgraded. What difference does it make after this? Printing money is not a good idea. Constantly, maybe we, we let it collapse. We won't be able to give all these welfare countries uh, like Ukraine any money. We send money over to Pakistan. It, Everybody we give money to. Maybe we should just stop giving up money. Is this a welfare system or what? All this money we're just printing and printing and printing. And now some Republican says that we're not going to vote for this trash. Kevin McCarthy was boasting that 95% of his fellow GOP members support the deal. Really? Really? That's the problem. I believe that uh, Ralph Norman out of South Carolina he says the deal is insanity. I agree with you, Norman. I agree with you. Four trillion debt ceiling increase, he says, with virtually no cuts. 
Is that what we is that what we agreed to? I thought y'all had a good deal. I thought this was wonderful. I thought these talk show gurus see they're too busy. This was this is our problem. We're too busy using money to violate American citizens. That's why they need the money. This is why they wanted the government closed down. Look what they're doing to Ken Paxson here in Texas. It was GOP members who did that too. All this corruption we got, he was looking into voter fraud and going around. They upset about this. They said some corruption. Don't know all the details, but I have to get back to you on that. But I, evidently, they're pissed off at him. All of this money that these Republicans and Democrats steal and waste, now they're upset with him. You know when you're over the target, when they start getting upset with you. But now we, we figured out that they, they've cut a deal. And this deal is not good. If Joe Biden agreed to you, I guarantee it ain't good for America. Because everything he does is not good for America. Let it collapse, Kevin McCarthy. By the way, where's the rest of that freaking tape from January the 6th? No, you gave it to Tucker Carlson. What the hell did Tucker Carlson do with it? Does Fox News still have it? Did they tell Tucker Carlson to leave that freaking uh, video evidence before he left? Because we know the blowhard Sean Hennedy is not going to show it. He's not interested in that. He's just interested in repeating the same thing over and over. He's not going to really attack anybody viciously. He just brings it about and saying, we need to do such and such. Blow hard, shut up. I got what he did. I despise that piece of trash. Just get on here saying the same damn thing. Come, hold some of these Republicans uh, uh, accountable for them constantly saying they're going to do something. Give them the majority. They said, vote for you. Send me to Washington, D.C. They don't do a damn thing. But just like the damn Democrats, they'll just kill you slowly. I'd rather just go ahead and die fast then. Why would I want to get tortured? The Republicans want to torture you slowly. Democrats, I'll kill you fast. Open the border wide up. I let every criminal out of jail. They'll kill you fast. Republicans say, I want to kill you slowly. Drip, 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 drip. So you're telling me that it's a good idea to add more debt that you're never going to pay anyway. And then when you borrow the money, you give it away to illegal immigrants in Ukraine and every other damn country. Is that what you're telling me? And Lindsey Graham, only thing he's worried about is more defense spending. i never seen a man who's never had a fight. He's got 15 cats and wear nut huggers, always talking about military and fighting and stuff. You ain't never had a fight before, clown. Quit acting like a tough guy. Stop it. You go home and get, get feed some tuna fish to your 15 cats and put your nut huggers and your baby all back on, please. I despise Lindsey Graham. Despise him. Got a, a, I got a, just, just a disdain, a righteous indignation I got about him. All he talks about is Ukraine or fights and wars and stuff like that. Does it look like Lindsey Graham ever had a fight? Send him over there and let him fight for the Ukrainians since you're so anxious to fight for another country. He don't even fight for his, his the own citizens here as much as he fight for the damn foreigners talking about war. Clown, shut up. And tell Kevin McCarthy, maybe we need to... It, did his boyfriend, Frank Lutz, tell him that this is a great deal, Kevin? You did such a wonderful job. And he'd be going around and show, we, we, we got what we wanted. He's a lie. I can guarantee he's lying. They never give us what we want. We ask for one thing, they give us something else. Then they get mad and call us extremists because we won't go along with them lying to us. Not extremists. Do what you said you're going to do and stop lying. Stop spending money you don't have. It's basic common sense. They don't spend your own money like that. Spend your money like that. Tell Joe Biden and the Lindsey Grahams and the Kevin McCarthy's and the Nancy Pelosi's and the rest of these clowns. Spend your money like that. Keep spending our money like that and we supposed to just grab our ankles. I don't think so. Quit pretending like these Republicans got your best interest. Most of them are number clowns. Here he is raising the debt ceiling and, and we can't even pay our bills now. And this is not including all the other tr stuff that's about to happen. We're about to see a collapse here pretty soon. We can't, you can't help but to see a collapse. Everything they're doing goes against any financial uh, uh, awareness. It's basic common sense. You're broke. You, you've ran the debt up. You keep spending money. You never reduce anything. And then you come on TV and say, we got to pay our bills. Stop wasting damn money, fool. This is what the first thing they tell you. You want to get out of debt, stop wasting money. Waste money on every damn thing you can name. Makes me sick.